Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to race number 14 of the 2023 NSCA Cup Series season. Um, also, remember how last time at Nashville uh, I said that the next race would be at Pocono? Uh, yeah, I was uh, misremembering the schedule. Uh, Pocono is actually the next race. This time out, we're actually in Toronto for the first ever street course race for the NSCA. At least I think it's the first street course race. I know we've raced at an airport before, so I don't know if that counts. Um, on pole is Theodore Keane alongside Jason Williams, who will be making his final start of the season. Let me restart the session as well, because I don't want anybody to have a tire issue right off the start of the race. Um, Drivers to your car. Then it's the Craig Autosport team. It's a Nomina and Heflin. Uh, making up row two. Points leader Hunter Kiro in fifth. Ryan Fawn alongside Cody Lamas, Kenningberg, English, and Craig are running out that top ten. Uh, 34 laps around the streets of Toronto today. It'll be interesting to see just how well everybody uh, gets along here. So we get set to go racing. And the green flag is out. We are racing at Toronto. Thedor gets easily by the 15 and is pulling away. Nomina doing his best to try and uh, uh, get by the 15, but it looks like Th Theodore, or rather Jason Williams, has the better run. It's now single file as they enter this little twisty section here. Oh, Kiro is in the wall. Can't quite tell uh, how far back he's now fallen. Oh, Kiro. Oh, Freeman Jr. is in the wall as well now. Kiro has some sort of issue. He's probably going to head back to payroll. Oh, hard contact further back. Th that is Samuel Henson Jr. Who, well, immediately gets up before he gets a chance to throw the caution. It will bring the caution out here on lap one. As, yeah, Hunter Kiro comes out on the pit road. So it is the 33 to the 80 to the 15 to the 13 to the 2, the top 5. Oh! And that's Merzlach. Merzlach is in the wall hard. He was running in 11th, well, 10th. That is going to cause some issues as now the field starts to go by him here. Freeman Jr. has not really lost all that much time. Mers like his car smoking. He is more than likely probably going to be done for the day. Not definitely not what he needs this early in this race. As the field has, will catch up to the tail end of, or to the pace car, rather, I should say. It looks like Hunter Kiro is. Uh, I guess he beat the leader off the pit road, or no, he no, he uh just beat. Looks like he just beat the door keen, so we are definitely going to have to take. So, kind of an explosive start to this race. As uh, there's a huge gap back to, uh, between Crago and uh, Cody Goforth, who running pretty distantly already here in the beginning here. Yeah, Merz like has made it back to pit road. So, uh, 
already. Gonna wait till they're on a front straightaway to wave Hunter Kiro by. Oh, nope, never mind. Hunter Kiro is going onto pit road. So we are going to go ahead and take a look here at those uh, incidents. So rewind back. So Hunter Kiro had already uh, hit the wall by this point, but we're going to go ahead and take a look at what happened here. So. Oh, it looks like somebody else actually hit the wall just a little bit ahead of him. Or maybe not. Maybe just uh, secondary sounds there, but uh, looks like Hunter Kiro just kind of slid on exit, just tapped the barrier. And, well, that's the reason why there was a huge gap between cars as... Uh, there was another car that, I guess, tapped something. Oh, yep. Three slapped the wall. As did the 50 Mad of Maddox. Like, a bunch of people were hitting walls there. And then he had the 24, or no, the 5 of Samuel Henson Jr., who... Then, in the chaos here, just random, just drove straight into the wall. And then Echo Evans Ross had nowhere to go, running into him. And Steve Merslack, literally in the same spot the Hunter Kiro did. Looks like he just gassed it and just, it went around on him and he just pancaked the wall. So already three cars out of this race is we're going to get going already. Oh, and I hear somebody hitting the wall for the back. Maybe it, been, maybe it was the pace car. So now I'm going to under fire from Williams and... Williams under fire from Heflin now. There's a field. Ooh! Richards into the wall. On corner exit there. Oh, and that's the 59 hard into the tire barriers. And Hunter Kira almost drives into the 59. And uh, we're not hearing caution this time around. Oh, and that's the 99 into the tire barriers where her Henson Jr. slammed them. Looks like it is going to be a race of attrition and not sliding into any barriers of any kind. As Montoya now comes down pit road, he is likely done for the day, as is the 59. So it's one scan keen. Two Nomina, two Williams, to Heflin, to Lamas, the top five. So the two car has fallen back to sixth. Oh, Heflin into the tie burst. Oh, and he's going to get hit by Kenningberg. Richards once again caught up behind a car that has hit the barriers. And Heflin moving slowly on the racetrack. We're going to have to go to our helicopter cam here. Oh, and go for this in the barriers. Oh, he gets collided by his teammate in 29. 
Oh, my toy is actually still in the race. But that was not what Goforth needed, and he was hit by Max O'Quinn. So all three Pathfinder cars all having issues in this one. As Heflin now comes down pit road. Oh, and something happened to Ian Wallace as well. Can you go back and take a look at that real quick? Oh, and yep, it was this trouble spot. Oh, it looks like he might have caught a... Or RJ Bishop might have caught a piece of this. Yep, he did. He briefly went around as well. Maxwell Quinn comes out of pit road. So yeah, it truly is survival of the fittest right now. Now Heflin comes off of pit road. So we are now. Now go for this out of this race. Maddox is out. Merzdike is out. Henson is out. Heflin, Montoya, Kiro, and Ian Wallace are all down a lap. It looks like the 37 might have pitted. Yeah, he is in pit road. Yep. And Ian Wallace is officially out of this race as well. So, just as a matter of try to keep it out of the bears as, oh, Eric Reinhardt appears on pit road. What happened to Reinhardt? Oh, just same thing everybody else has dealt with. Just into the barriers so Reinhardt will likely be our sixth maybe seventh car out of the race here so Maxwell Quinn is on track as Everything has calmed down for the most part for these guys. As Williams has Lamas all over his back bumper. Reinhardt still on pit road getting towed. Oh, and Mikey Willard has had a run-in with the barriers, more than likely. Yep. Right behind the lap car of Crown Jr. and follows what his teammate did several laps ago. Except he's on pit road, by the looks of things, and actually getting his car repaired, so... It looks like Reinhardt is officially out of the race. Yep. So it is just survival of trying not crash oh echo evans ross into the wall there and slaps the wall on corner exit as well so basically don't go side by side although i'm not liking uh steffi plaxico's chances here plaxico just about to hit the wall there and, well, well, no, they kept it clean, going through there, at least. Willard's still getting repairs on pit road. Nomina and Keen have really pulled away from the field here. Nomina leading Keen, or, sorry, other way around, Keen leading Nomina.
William says held off Llamas for a good chunk of time here, although with uh, Kiro so far down the order, that's good for Llamas. In fact, we might actually see a change in the points lead if this holds. Ooh. Six just about slapped the wall. Oh, I think Hayner actually did catch a piece of the wall there. As Lamas has caught Montoya. Ooh. <laughs> That's a bit tight there. 24 car back on track. Ooh, this could be dangerous here for Montoya. Nope, kept it clean. Already on lap 12, by the way, so almost halfway through this race. It's a very short one here. See the 37 get passed by the 84. Can now I'm going to get around Keen and get his first career win in the Cup Series, or will he just be stuck behind Keen for the entirety of this race? Or will Keen have an issue at some point and make a mistake? Let's see Hayner side by side with Kenningberg. That is for the 10th position. Hanner had it at the line. Williams really holding up the rest of this pack here. It's allowed the top two to pull away. Oh, Llamas is in trouble. That's not what Llamas needed. He is into the tire barrier. Sparks uh, collects a piece of the 48. Big problems for Llamas. That is... And, of course, with both of the front runners having issues, that's going to open up quite the points battle just that much. In fact... Uh, I think it was Heflin who was third in points heading into this race, but he's also had issues, so. I'm going to double check the point standings here real quick. I have to see who this really benefits going into this race. As it uh, looks like the three of. And, and the O2 have all had issues. What has happened to Kita and So What has happened to the three and the O two? They both came down Parrot Road. That's some sort of issue. Oh Llamas got turned Oh Llamas got turned down that straight away. And we don't see how it happens because there's a tree blocking the fucking camera. Oh, just gets run into by Plaxco. And then... Just... Too narrow of a section for track. Ooh, Orange Cup also gets a piece of Llamas there. So Llamas officially out of the race. Orange Cup doesn't look like he's pitted. 99 is on pit road. Did 99 get a piece of action with the wall again? Yep.
So now uh, Ad Lamas is out of this race. He's going to finish behind Hunter Kiro now. Oh, speaking of Hunter Kiro, he's now side by side with Heflin. The car is really spread out now as the two of Vaughn is on pit road. He has to have had an issue at some point. Oh, it was earlier. I think he might have hit the barrier going through this corner. Yep. Just slams into it and then... Later on in the lap. Oh, the 60 of Cole Dillon just randomly slides. And that's right in front of the two of on. Thankfully, no further contact between the two. Now, Vaughn comes off of pit road. So they are dropping like flies. Williams still in third. Craig up to fourth. English up to 5th, Sparks in 6th as he comes out just ahead of his Penske teammate. Blade Runner up to 7th, Hayner in 8th, Kenningberg 9th, and Richards, Kenningberg's teammate in 10th. As Vaughn really now blocking the track here, this may cause some issues as <laughs> Kenningberg gets a bump from his teammate from behind. Blade Runner catches a piece of the wall off the exit of that corner, and Freeman into the barrier. And now begins to, trying to limp his way back to pit road. Oh, and Echo Evans Ross now into that barrier as well. And Evans Ross car uh, billowing smoke now. Officials are calling a caution. Did it ever <laughs> now it looks like Evans Roscar may be dropping a little bit of oil we're hearing. I think the only two cars that have not caught the yellow flag yet are the eighty and the thirty three, but I could be wrong about that. Field so spread out as well as Freeman now hits pit road. It looks like he's going to get server, so he will still be in this race. But tough break for the Parsley Enterprises crew. As Evans Russ pulls into the pit stall and looks like they're providing service to the 43 machine, so she's going to be still in this race, just probably well off pace. As the leaders now catch the yellow flag. So we are just past halfway here. Officials are telling Hancock to try and get around here. But this looks like the door Keen's really allowing the three to get by. Ah, there he goes. The 
feels so spread out here. Trying to give the uh, field an opportunity to uh, actually go around here. Preferably be without causing chaos. Sorry, it's <laughs> trying to see like where all the uh, other lap cars are at and whatnot. Just gonna eel all of those three because of the fact that they're too close to the back end of the field anyway to for it to really matter. As the zero car now has a failure with his brakes, and it looks like we're already getting the one to go signal. So. Gonna go ahead and EOL number zero. That way we can get the field properly bunched up here. Get set to go racing here for just over the last 10 laps here. As these guys are going to be well far away from the uh, rest of the field. Now the green flag is back out. And immediately, Crago tries to go for third on Williams. Williams is going to try and hold strong on that outside. Now down to that, I guess, back straightaway, you can call it. Williams has the advantage over Crago. Sparks is going to try and take fourth or fifth away from 
English. And Will Crago still hanging on the outside of uh, Williams. And Will take third. Oh, Sparks hard into the wall. Oh, that's going to be Ranger. And that's going to be another caution. As the rest of the field now stacks up behind these guys. And Hayner is still on pit road. Oh, and Vaughn catches the uh, wall there. Oh, and Plaxco goes for a bit of a slide there in the third or last turn. Oh, and contact between multiple cars in that last corner. That's Hancock and both Axiom Racing Union drivers. Oh, and Freeman's going to, oh, just drive straight into it and then drive straight into a wall. So, not the most ideal of a set of events there, as it looks like the 22 is going to get repaired. Unknown if the zero is going to uh, come out into pit road. Says that he's on pit out. I guess we're just going to go ahead and have to uh, accelerate through here real quick. It's 22 cars now coming off of pit road. Zero is still on pit road. I believe all the lapped cars are at the tail end of the field. Yeah, so don't need to worry about that. William Sparks is still on the lead lap, so... He's going to catch the tail end of the field, but that's not going to really matter because he was protecting the cause of the caution, so he's not going to get any free pass there. And, no, it looks like the Zero was on pit road and then just didn't leave, got towed back, and is now on pit road again. Maybe perhaps this time he's going to actually come off pit road. Hopefully, maybe, as Sparks goes around, and we are going to get back to racing here. It'll be 10 to go at the line. Does anybody join the uh, list of drivers out? Lamas does, as well as Echo Evans Ross. They have both joined the retiree list. So down to 29 runners. As Hayner does, in fact, leave pit road this time. Pace card makes the ever so slightly harder right turn to pit road. And now as the field comes just slowly. So it's now Keen, Nomina, Crago, Williams... English, the top five, as drivers already side by side a little bit further back. Many of whom have been involved in incidents today. Oh, English into the tires now, and he's stuck there. And gets towed back. Not hearing any caution, though. Because it didn't necessarily hold up the rest of the field. Although, people are questioning that with uh, llamas being spun so a lot of good drivers having terrible days here in Toronto with less than 10 to go
still. It is Keen out front, then Nomina, then Crago, then Williams. Now Blade Runner, who's under fire from the 82, Kenningberg. Then you have Richards right behind him. As Richards hits the wall, and then behind Richards is Granger, who also hit the wall. Then you have Ricky Foxen, who really needs a good run. Then Cole Dillon, and then I believe that is the 23 of Alana Keschiel, who is rounding out the top 10. Oh, somebody in the terrace back there. That is Stianovic, who almost is hit by the 04 of Plaxico. Oh, and is hit by Kenningberg. That sends them both sliding in the third to last turn there. Now Hancock and 38 bang doors and the 84 of Orange Drift also on pit road. Top three have really separated themselves from the rest of the field. So Williams obviously does not have the downforce of the top three. But does have the straight line speed. So 90 and 84 on pit road. Oh, Dylan goes for a slide, as does Alana Kiro. Sianovic off of pit road and mixed in just behind or in between ninth and tenth place. And it looks like Keen is starting to pull away from Nomina just a little bit. Really, the action is here is from fourth on back. Because there's nobody on pit road at the moment here. Five to go at the line. This would be an amazing result for Williams in his final race as next amount of Pocono, it will be Cox that's back in that car. If he can hang on, though. Not everybody has. We see now Granger coming down pit road. Nomina much closer than the last time by going in this corner to the 33 car. Meanwhile, the gap back to fourth just keeps on growing ever so, or just more and more and more. Ooh, and that is, once again, the 29 car onto her, or into the wall, I should say, not onto the wall. Onto the wall would be an entirely different thing. Not a good day for Pathfinder Racing, not a good day for Team Penske as McGranger's off of pit road. He won't go a lap down, I believe. Did he just hit the wall coming off of pit road? Not only did he hit the wall coming off of pit road, but now he has to come back to pit road because of that. As we, were we the really white going on this corner? I do not know. 
All I know is the 83 and 57 make contact. As the 57 is running off pace. Four to go at the line. And yeah, McGranger once again on pit road, as predicted. Oh, cool. Dylan has had an issue. What happened to the 60? Yep, that's about as expected as he comes down pit road and looks like no tires, just getting service. As McGranger comes off of pit road, here comes the leaders once again. Coming to three to go now. William Stoll holding on the fourth. Then you have Blade Runner in fifth. Kenningberger in sixth. Richard seventh. Fox in eighth. Uh, Keschel in ninth. And then Morse in tenth. So good run from the Douglas Racing Team. Although here comes Bishop going to try and take that tenth spot away. Let's see how well this works out for Morse here. Right now, Bishop does have the advantage of being on the inside there and will take that spot. Morse now under fire from the 29 of O'Quinn. I don't remember if that's the first position. Oh, well, not anymore. O'Quinn just slammed the wall there. Coming the two laps to go now. I do believe. Oh, shit, the 90s on pit road. Anyways, as I was saying, I do believe Keen basically has this in the bag unless he slams into a tire barrier basically here within the last couple of laps here. What happened to Sianovic? Because. I don't recall him being on pit road. I do believe he must have did the same thing the 60 did a lot before. Yep, he did. He's still there. Speaking of the 60, he is officially out of the race, as is Stojanovic. So not a good day for uh, English motorsports, unfortunately. Coming to the white flag. One more lap to go in Toronto. Can Keen keep it clean for one more lap? They are approaching the 57 of Granger, so... This possible McGranger may play spoiler here. Get in the way of Keane. Doesn't look like it will be enough for the short as this course is going to be. 
There's a final couple of corners. And Sador Keen is now a three-time NSCA Cup Series winner. Winning in Toronto. Noman a second. Crago rounding out the podium. And Williams will hold on for fourth. Kenningberg. In f oh, what happened to the 57? Or 77, I mean. Oh, no. Final lap. Blade Runner is the one that has an issue. We're going to go back and see what happened here to Blade Runner. And same song, different dance. As, uh, oh, Cody Hainer, I guess, slammed the barriers here? Yep, Cody Hainer. One last hit to the tire barriers. To round things off, as we see, McGranger now coming around. So, well, this was an experiment gone awry, not going to lie. I don't really have anything to add. Um, well, so Theodore Keen goes wire to wire as the uh, winner of the race. Nomina in... Second, Crago third, like I said. Although it says Crago retired, I'm going to have to fix that. Anyways, Williams, Kenningberg, Richards, Fox, and Keshiel, Bishop, Morse, the top ten. Alana Giro just misses out. Max Quinn, able to recover to 12th. Plaxico, able to recover to 13th. Right next to her teammate, Takeda. And Hancock, rounds up the top 15, running effectively a modified street stock in the front end. Uh, so, uh, yeah. Next time out is actually going to be Pocono. Don't worry. <laughs> I double-checked the schedule, so yeah. Pocono next time, I swear it. Anyways, until then, thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you in the next race. So long.